uh, kia ora, I'm Moira Maxwell uh, from Little Bushman. She doesn't like to think about where it came from. Hi, I'm Rick Cranston from Little Bushman and I play the drums. Here we are with Entertain Me at the King's Arms, 2012, I think. I got into music from a very early age, actually. I was born into a musical family. So I started playing guitar and recorder when I was six years old. But my older brother also was a big inspiration, Richard. And he was mad into like Eric Clapton and you know Bob Marley and all those naughty artists. And then when I got to school, I had a great uh, tutor, saxophone tutor, Jim Thorne. He introduced me to jazz. <laughs> I started playing drums when I was about uh, sort of six or seven years old. Uh, my father is a trumpet player, so kind of grew up around music and um, played in sort of covers rock bands around Hamilton and then uh, decided to, <laughs> yeah, where I grew up, and then decided to move to Wellington to uh, study jazz. Yeah, Little Bushman sound is uh, a rock sound with, with a blues bass, uh, sort of influences of the, the psychedelic uh, rock period of the 60s and 70s. How do you define psychedelic rock? To me, psychedelic music is um, just any type of music really that you can't really define. It, it, it has some intangible, unexplainable uh, effect on your psyche, you know. It's just that, that mishmash of frequencies that affect us somehow. And you can't explain it. And I love that. I love the fact that as, as, as these incredible humans, you know, we can do all these amazing things, but we can't define why music affects us so much. Of course, there's a whole bunch of other things that uh, sort of come into the into the mix as well. Um, a lot of old school blues. John Lee Hooker, one of our favourites. Sun House. We're all jazz musicians as well, so I guess there's a little bit. Um, of jazz influence in there, although it's more about the improvising than it is jazz as a style. This song's called Tiorana. Uh, <coughs> Little Bushman's new album, Te Oranga, is about the cycle of life. So, you know, as, as a young baby growing into a, 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 small, a, a small person, into, you know, adolescent, and then, of course, uh, the later, later years. It's supposed to be more of a reflection of the more joyous things of life. Although there's a couple of dark numbers on there too, which, I mean, we've, we are quite politically motivated. So there's things that have uh, just, just seemed a bit wrong to us, so we'll write a song about it. And it's, a couple of them made their way onto the album. I'm, I'm quite proud of our writing on this one. I think we've matured as writers. Te Oranga. Oh, I love it, you know. I, I love it, eh? It's, it's great. A lot of thought, a lot of, lot of debate went into that album. We wanted to be a bit more positive, you know. I think Pendulum was more the darker side of humanity. It's like the imbalances, all the wrongs. So with Te Oranga, we wanted to make it a bit more uh, all the good traits in humanity, you know. Uh, great song. Oh, love that song. You know. A Māori house hoedown. Yeah, it's wicked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, working with the NZSO and John Pasathis. Oh, tick on the bucket list, you know. Phenomenal. I didn't realise it at the time. You know, there's a lot of hype around it. And you you are genuinely excited, but um, it's only in hindsight that you really get to appreciate what what you did. But the the, the performance, you know, the performance itself, is, wow, adrenaline. It's you know, bungee jump kind of stuff, surfing a tsunami, you know, um, having 60 people behind you and just playing with you know, ferocity, with all that kind of emotion, and uh, it really did augment. To me, it augmented our music even more so, you know. No more. So more. I reckon we've got a pretty special thing uh, going on here. Just around the country in general, there's 
a hell of a lot of great bands, really good artists, good songwriters. There seems to be a really strong pool of creative musicians here at the moment, which is really great. I, I personally find it a really hard place to make a living playing music though, because it's, we don't have a lot of people in New Zealand, which is a good thing, but it's, it's a hard thing because you can't be on the road every sort of every two weeks playing in the same places because it's uh, you know there's not enough people to that'll come want to come and see you that often you want to keep it special and only be playing every few months there are challenges but you know you just you, you just keep your overheads low your expectations lower um, and just keep chipping away at your art if you push yourself as an artist you get the support from the audience you know we're, we're, we're in paradise we're, we're, we're lucky you know at the end of the day, we just want to put on the best show that we can, the best gig, you know. Um, people are paying hard-earned money, you know, to come for a bit of escapism. So that's our that's our role, is to give them that.